Hey, you might have seen this base hanging up in the background. It usually hangs up on the wall over there. But I use this to record a lot. It's a like a 68 or 69 Hofner violin base. The neck is glued in on these, not bolted on. It's hollow. Probably like maple maple construction. Um, it's missing the pick guard, but it's pretty original. The electronics are a little, uh, they short out a lot, but uh, anyway, it's got flat wound strings. They're real smooth. So on the bass, it's tuned like E, A, D, G. I like to use a pick because I like punk rock and rock and roll. And it just sounds a little harder hitting, and uh, it's just the way I like to play. So if you're ever playing the bass, or pick up a bass, um, traditionally a good kind of riff is your root, third, fifth, like this. Root, third, fifth, third. So that's open, low E. Fourth fret is G sharp. And... Uh, Fourth or uh, third string, second fret B. You can double that. Or you can get a little rock and roll in there, like. kind of boogie woogie that's a open open three four like e e g g sharp or you can grab like a sixth interval uh, a c sharp some winds happening out here. Or if you get roped into playing country bass, you might play like... That's E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B. Eventually, you need to change chords, so if you go one string over, you got your A. That's all good, except when you go to B, it's a lot harder because there's no more open strings. On B, you got to go, oops, <laughs> so you got to figure out how to do those open licks not open. So that's a closed position where you're, you got to press down on every note, and because open strings are really easy, so that would be like a 2-2. Two, two, Five, six, four, four, six, four on the B chord. B, B, D, D sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. So I'm using index and pinky a lot. Sometimes guys will lock in with these two. I'm like, oh boy. Then you got to move like crazy just to keep up. But this is... Try some different fingering there. And then you can take things up an octave like. Thank you. 
So, the I find that the old Hoffner is light, kind of a thin neck, easy to play up high, you know, nice and small, easy to play, not hard to press down, very, very easy instrument to handle, a lot of fun. So I use this when I record. I really like it. It's been a good bass. Hoffner, made in Germany. Kind of like Paul McCartney's, only, I don't know if he was had a left-handed or right-handed model. It's kind of confusing. It's got a wood bridge. The um, saddles are just little pieces of fret cut and stuck in these slots, so it's kind of funny. These are certain kind of pickups that just, they're, they say Hoffner on them. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, it stays in tune. If I had a gig, I would play it live. All right, there's the Hoffner bass.